The Hayes Code was a set of rules in place from 1934 to 1968. They regulated what could be said or shown on screen, and pregnancy was considered a taboo topic. A baby bump can also affect a character's storyline. It distracts viewers from the way they're supposed to look or what they're meant to be doing. Both these issues can make it difficult for filmmakers and showrunners when one of their actresses becomes pregnant. Writing it into the story is one solution, but the other strategy is to hide the baby bump completely. Keep watching to learn about actresses who hid their pregnancy during major film and TV roles. Teddy Moore a Christmas Story is one of the most famous family Christmas films of all time, but during production, something happened that threw a major curveball at the film's production team. Teddy Moore became pregnant. The filmmakers padded out her costumes in an attempt to match her growing belly. This did essentially hide her pregnancy, but it also had the unfortunate side effect of making her appear fat. Sydney Penny All My Children was one of the longest-running soap operas of all time. It ran into a bit of trouble when Sydney got pregnant. They decided to hide it with tight shots of her face so her belly wouldn't be visible. The scene where she and her co-star Justin Bruning argue over whether or not to have a baby becomes even more ironic when you consider she was eight and a half months pregnant at the time. Jane Greer Jane was pregnant during the filming of the action movie The Big Steel. Her co-star William Bendix saw her taking pills for morning sickness. She said they were meant to treat Montezuma's revenge. He took a few and thanked her later that he didn't get sick. The film had already been difficult enough to film after it was interrupted by Robert Mitchum's jail time for marijuana possession. You'll notice the difference in weight between him and Jane in the last shot. Veronica Lake Veronica was six to eight months pregnant during the filming of Sullivan's Travels. Only two other members of the cast and crew knew, Preston Sturgis's wife Louise and Edith Head, one of the most famous designers of the time. She didn't want to lose the role, but playing a hobo made it easy to wear loose and baggy clothes to hide her pregnancy. Shirley Jones Shirley was pregnant out of wedlock during the filming of The Music Man and didn't want it to be obvious. Only the costume designers knew at first. They attempted to adjust her dresses several times to keep it a secret, but it eventually got out. Her baby bump is visible in a few scenes. She even says that while she was filming with her co-star Robert Preston in a scene on a footbridge, the baby kicked him. Lucille Ball this is one rare case of an actress concealing a pregnancy more than once. Lucy was in the early stages during the filming of the 1951 film The Magic Carpet and had to have her dresses let out multiple times. She kept Columbia executives from finding out to make sure she didn't lose the role. She was six months pregnant with Lucy Arnaz while filming the pilot for I Love Lucy. Her costumes were oversized, but since the show wasn't created for TV broadcast, she only had a problem with the professor's routine. It had to be reworked so she wouldn't have to flop on her belly. Lucy refused to hide a pregnancy a third time while filming The Moral Guardians. The filmmakers considered it a taboo subject, but she didn't care. The I Love Lucy episode where she gave birth broke Nielsen rating records. The word pregnant wasn't allowed on TV, so the show invented the now popular euphemism, expecting. Linda Harrison Linda and her co-star Richard Zanuck had an affair behind the scenes of filming the 1968 film Planet of the Apes. Pregnancy and birth on screen were already considered taboo and unheard of out of wedlock. Careful posing during every shot kept her baby bump hidden. Rhea Perlman and Shelley Long Two actresses on the set of Cheers got pregnant around the same time. Rhea's was written into the script after her character Carla had a fling with Dr. Bennett Ludlow. Shelley's bump was hidden by having her hide behind a bar and she was filmed from the neck up. Felicia Rashad Objects around the Cosby house, such as giant teddy bears, were used to hide Felicia's growing belly. The showrunners also took other measures to conceal her pregnancy. Their methods included writing her out of episodes and cutting a hole in the Huxtable's bed so her baby bump wouldn't be elevated and noticeable. Bill Cosby once joked that if she had gotten any bigger, the only solution would have been to park the family car in the living room. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more actresses who had to hide their baby bumps. Maureen McCormick This is one of the best examples of playing with the idea of hiding a pregnancy in TV or film. Six original Brady Bunch cast members appeared on a Very Brady episode, which aired on February 11, 1989. They included Robert Reed, Florence Henderson, Anne B. Davis, Maureen McCormick, Christopher Knight, and Mike Lookinland. Maureen was pregnant at the time of the reunion special, but it was worked into the episode's already strange plot. 
The episode begins with the main character, Ross, watching the Brady Bunch and singing along to the theme song. He says the Brady Bunch is a way of life, but it can't help him with the F he got on his recent history paper because he was too busy watching it. His parents forbid him from watching any more TV, and he says Mike and Carol Brady wouldn't have scolded their children for a bad grade. After that, Ross falls asleep and has a dream that mirrors a Brady Bunch episode. It's full of references to other episodes of the show. Eventually, Marsha, played by Maureen McCormick, enters. She has a visible baby bump, but the typical trope of hidden pregnancies is subverted as no one comments on it for the rest of the episode. They simply behave as if it's a normal event and don't ask how it happened or attempt to hide it. Ross eventually wakes up, sees his parents behaving like the ones from the Brady Bunch, then wakes up one more time after realizing it was another dream. He goes to get some real sleep while his parents watch the Brady Bunch themselves. The whole episode was a parody of the hide your pregnancy trope. Jane Leaves This was one of the most controversial examples of hiding a pregnancy in the history of TV. Jane's pregnancy was written into the later seasons of Frasier, but many fans weren't impressed with the way it was handled. The showrunners explained her character's growing stomach as the result of a struggle with compulsive eating. Jane even had to wear a fat suit to make it convincing. When Jane left the series to have her baby, the characters explained she went to a weight loss spa. They even specified that she'd lost 9 pounds 12 ounces. Many media outlets and viewers were outraged, but others felt it was an effective way to add realism to Niles and Daphne's relationship. Jane thought it was fine, but struggled to wear the suit every day. Barbara Eden I Dream of Jeannie ran for five seasons, from 1965 to 70. The role of Jeannie had an iconic pink and red silk costume with an exposed midriff. That might seem like it would be impossible to conceal a pregnancy, but the studio did its best. Extra veils were added to the costume for the first 10 episodes to cover Barbara's stomach. She jokingly said it made her look like a walking tent. Katie Seagal This is another instance of the same actress hiding a pregnancy twice. Katie first got pregnant in season 6 of Married with Children, but unfortunately miscarried. They kept the pregnancy in the storyline for half a season, but wrote it off as a dream. Katie got pregnant again in seasons 9 and 10. The two-part special She's Having My Baby saw both Marcy and Peg become pregnant. They were the highest-ranked episodes of the series, with almost 30 million viewers. Julia Duffy Julia joined the cast of Newhart playing Stephanie Vanderkellen during its second season. It was one of her most famous roles and her most awarded. It earned her six consecutive nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series from 1984 to 1990, as well as several other accolades. This was despite the fact she was forced to do everything she could to hide her pregnancy during several episodes. This included carrying around pillows, wearing baggy clothes, and standing behind furniture. Lori Metcalf and Roseanne Barr Lori became pregnant in 1995 during season 6 of Roseanne. The showrunner used every trick in the book to hide it from loose clothing to furniture. There was even a scene where her character sat in the bathtub covered in a heavy quilt smoking pot with her family. The baby bump eventually became too large to hide and had to be written into the show. Roseanne Barr also became pregnant three months later during the seventh season. Her character announced it on the show and stayed pregnant for over a year. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever noticed a moment in a TV show or movie where they attempted to hide an actress's baby bump? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.